welcome to Hazel Technologies. This is Ahmed, and today we are going to learn how to configure Namecheck email on your Outlook. So uh, for that, what you need, you just need few uh, settings that uh, where you, uh, what is your username or the email address you have created, and then you want your the server name. So this is the server name. And if you are using the SSL port, so then you have to use port number 995 and outgoing will be your 465. And if you are using non-secure means that you have not bought SSL certificate, then you have to use the port number 1110 and then you have to use your SMTP output that is 26. So uh, let's flip to Outlook and let's try to configure the name chip mail account. So in my previous video, I have shown how to configure your email account or how to add multiple email address to your Outlook. So if you want to use, you can just go to File and from here add account. There are two options: that email account uh, that is the uh, automatic one, and you want to go for the manual. I will prefer the manual settings. So just click on Next. Here you want this POV. Just click next. It is asking for your name, so you can get anything. Uh, like I'm giving the email address and again email address. You can give it here the name your So what will be your incoming server? So the incoming server will be your the address of your website. So in front of that you have to write mail dot my website is that hazelstudio.website actually it is a uh, dummy website we are not using it but uh, for learning purpose I do, I'm just showing you. So whatever is your website xyz.com and so and so inside of this incoming mail you have to write mail dot your website address and in outgoing as well you have to write the same thing so your SMTP will be the same one and here in username you don't have to give any name but instead of giving the name you have to give your email address here so your email address must be here and then your password Now it's not enough, you have to change few settings here, so you just go and click on more settings. On the more setting, first option is that your out, outing server, so outgoing server, just click on this checkbox and press it and then go to the advanced. Here you will see that your POB is 110, you don't need to touch it, it will be similar. And the outgoing server is by default 25, so you just need to change it from 25 to 20. Six. It is asking about your encrypted or anything. You don't need to put it anything because it is done. If you would be using uh, your SSL server, then this will be changed, and then you would be using this kind of settings. So if you are using your SSL settings, so you have to write only one thing that in on the, your incoming server, you just need to write your server 114.webhosting.com, and in your outgoing server, the same thing will come down, and then your port will be. Then 995 and 465. Let me show you how it works. So if you will using, if you are going to create an SSL, so automatically it will take it 995. If you will remove it, it will be 110. So 995 for the SSL, and then it will be 465, and then you have to type here SSL. But right now I'm not using any secure servers, so I'm just directly putting 110 and 26. Now it's asking for the lead the copy on the message on the server yes i want it, that it should be on the server and it's asking me to that remove from server so if you will check this or if you will increase or decrease these days so after 14 days my mails will be deleting from the server so how the 14 days means that from today onwards after, if the mail is coming today and after 14 days that mail will be deleted from my server so i don't want to delete any mail from my server so just uncheck it if you want that you are just taking your backup on your system so 
uh, you can check or uncheck it but I don't want to delete it another option is that remove from server when deleted from my deleted items so when you will be deleting your any mails it will be going to your deleted item into your outlook and if you will delete that mail from there so it will be permanently deleted from your server so I don't want even that so so just looking for this time and then I'm clicking OK so now everything is fine I just need to test my account if the account will be OK so it will be completed if there will be any error so it will show you an error so let's test so first one is completed there is no problem and even second one is completed so bingo we have completed it we just need to finish it the next and now need to close it so that's it guys we have completed it now click on finish and you will see that there will be your youtube.ag so just click here and in this you are going to receive mails so I'm not going to receive all I just want my YouTube at easelstudio dot website so you can see that this is my the test mails two time mail have box has tested so two mail has come and you can check this out this is my address and that website is hosting on Ninja. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any query, if you have any question or you want any tutorial, so please uh, write me on the comment or you can leave me even so that uh, I'll try to uh, bring that information on the tutorial to you. So thank you so much once again guys for watching this video and uh, for uh, your love you have shown for the subscribing and liking this channel. Thank you so much.